Now with our series, Turn Back the Clock, and this morning it's all about how different exercises can help you feel younger at any age. Personal trainer, strength coach Susan Niebergall is here to break it all down for us. So we're relating 60, 1960, baby. 60, baby. That's it. That's, that's it. it. All right. Yeah. Help people get started and tell people the benefits of working out. So the best thing people can do is start with walking. Never ever underestimate the power of movement and walking every single day. It's going to improve our heart health, our mental health, increase our energy, and it's accessible to all of us. Mm -hmm. Also, we want to keep our nutrition kind of in check. We want to eat mostly nutrient-dense foods, adequate protein, adequate fiber, and learn to include the foods that we love along the way because that's life. And then we have to talk about strength training. It has to come into this equation and how important it is because we've, we're losing bone density as we age. We're losing muscle mass as we age. And strength training is going to help us build muscle and improve our bone density, which is significant. It's going to help our mobility. It's going to help um, prevent falls by mm -hmm. improving our coordination and balance. So there's a lot to, to include with strength training, our improving our sleep. And it's just going to improve our overall functional lifestyle. There are a lot of benefits you just wrote yeah. and, and, and so much more. Yeah. But it, you know this. Yeah. Each decade, your body just, uh, your physical abilities change. Let's, yeah. let's start in the 40s. Yeah. What happens then? So 40s, perimenopause yeah. kicks in, right? So your estrogen levels start to go down a little bit. You're going to have maybe some hot flashes, night sweats, those wonderful things that we've all been through. Um, and we're into the bone density loss and the muscle loss. That started in our 30s. So what are the exercises we can do in our 40s? So we we're going to start with a deadlift variation, okay. and that is going to be a Romanian deadlift. And this is going to strengthen our entire posterior chain, our butt, our our, you know the backs of our legs are mm -hmm. back and so Deborah is sending her butt super far back to the wall behind her that's the key to this exercise soft knees and reaching with her butt and we're just gonna we're gonna be strengthening everything on the back side of our body okay so that's in the 40s so in your 50s what are the physical issues and what's the exercise you should do 50s hello menopause and <laughs> hello <laughs> belly fat right, right. It, th that that is the thing menopause doesn't cause belly fat but the hormonal changes causes where we store it and it's be stubborn and so it, you know it will it's also going to be one of those things to work on through nutrition that's going to drive the fat loss but strength training is going to help keep our metabolism high and that's going to give the assist okay so what's the exercise Deborah's going to do for so us Deborah's now? doing a squat and she's going to be sending her butt back and down just like she's sitting in a chair and uh, it, she's going to be strengthening her glutes her hamstrings her quads and her core um, just an overall great exercise. For the time we have remaining, for those of us in our 60s, <laughs> what are those issues in the so exercise? So let's talk about posture and okay. get, get a, str right. and a strong back. Deborah's going to start doing a, a dumbbell row, and she is just going to um, move that dumbbell back to her body line, just like she's doing right there. And this is going to really help with posture, and it's really going to help give us a strong back. All right. So overall, what is your suggestion for everyone, Susan, about about getting out there and, and, and just moving, just doing something. Strength training two to four times a week, walking every single day, keep an eye on that nutrition, nutrient-dense foods, lots of protein and fiber, and try to include those foods that you love. And you know, when we're talking about movement, we're not talking about two hours, so just, just find that time. That's, and we're saying that less time can still be a great percent. Five minutes, 10 minutes, whatever you've got, yeah. walk. Never underestimate that. All right, babe, thank you, Susan. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.